Hello everybody and welcome to another session of Ask the Expert. Today we're going to talk about how to generate charts and graphics from your family tree on MyHeritage. Uh, before I continue, <clears throat> I just wanted to remind you that we have a few more sessions planned for April and hopefully already next week I'm going to be able to start advertising these sessions for May. And uh, talking about the Education Center, as you saw on the commercials, um, I'm going to be having a Facebook Live at the MyHeritage uh Facebook page in just one hour. So you are more than welcome to stop there as well and learn all about the education page. Okay, for those of you who are new and don't know me, uh, if there are still people like that in the world, my name is Daniel Horowitz. I'm the expert genealogist of my heritage, working for the company since 2006 and enjoying every moment of it even in those uh, or this uh, problematic times that we need to work from home. Uh, I started uh, with genealogy in the 86, that's 1986 in Venezuela where I grew up. And here in Israel, I am also volunteering for digitization and transcription projects with the Israel Genealogy Research Association. So now let's go directly to the MyHeritage website to learn how we can do uh, with our trees and how we can uh, generate charts and graphics. I'm going to start from a very simple demo tree that we have here. Uh, probably you already know them by heart. And I'm going to go to the family tree tab without clicking. And this is one of the mistakes everybody does. Without clicking, I'm going to see the drop down menu. And I see family tree, my photos, colorized photos, import JetCom, manage trees, and more. So right here under more, it's hidden the pedigree map and the print charts and books. We will be talking about pedigree map in just a few more days, but today it's all about charts and books. Let's go there and immediately my heritage is going to show you all the possibilities that you have that are already pre-created for you. First, let's start with the type of the chart or book. And for every and each one that you will select, MyHeritage will have an explanation and also a design. So you will actually see and have an idea how this chart is going to look like. So ancestors, descendants, uh, hourglass, Sun chart, which is the latest one and exclusive to my heritage. I'm going to show you that one, a fan chart, very similar to the latest view that we have uh, released in our uh, website. All in one, this is, uh, let me explain you right now because I'm not going to demonstrate this one. Uh, this will take every individual in your family tree related or not to your tree and will try to put it into a chart. So, a word of caution, if you have more than a thousand people or probably two thousand people in your tree, please do not try this at home because the chart is going to be huge and uh, probably not very useful. If you have just a few people, uh, if you think you have some people disconnected from the tree, yes, this will be a good way of doing it. And then we have an option of a family book, which we're going to show in a minute. So right now I'm going to choose the bow tie, which I think personally is probably the most beautiful chart because it's going to give me both ancestors from a set of parents and then also the descendants of those uh, 
parents selected. Uh, the second option that you have is the style. And MyHeritage has uh, about a dozen of different styles pre-created for you with backgrounds, with images, different forms, different colors. And if you keep going to the right, uh, yeah, definitely more than a dozen. Uh, but also with images, like with personal pictures or no pictures, you decide. And the third option that you have here is who this chart is going to be created for. Normally, you will have it, this uh, with your name when you are entering here for the first time. If that's not the case and you want to be the one picked, you can just click here and automatically your name is going to appear here. If it's not the case and you want another person in the tree, all you need to do is uh, type the name of the person you would like to use. Uh, in this case, I have already pre-marked a person here and uh, MyHeritage will put a title automatically that of course you can uh, customize and you can change uh, whatever, however you think appropriate. Um, and then you can start um, customizing the facts that appears in the tree. If you don't want any fact, I normally uh, ask for all the facts. And then is when you do a custom, you can select the custom fields and you go into a more detailed page. And I'm going to show you in a second how to come back here and select all the facts and all the events that you want to go. Uh, how uh, you can get there uh, simply by clicking select the custom fields and using custom. The other two options that you have is the amount of generation. And if you have a uh, too big tree, probably you want to limit the amount of generations that appears over there. For this one, I'm going to keep in show all generations and the printing method. It will <coughs> depend how do you plan to print it? You could print it in multiple pages and then print it at home. And if the chart is big enough, that will keep your kids or grandkids uh, busy at least for a good half an hour. Uh, they will need to put it together like a puzzle. Or you can select one single page and don't try to print it at home because probably the letters and everything in the chart is going to be so tiny that you will not be able to uh, read it. This is more when you want to either share with somebody uh, digital and send it by email or if you want to print it uh, professionally in uh, Kimco's FedEx or any other printing office. Uh, near to you. So with all every uh, with all the things already in place, I'm going to click generate chart. Uh, it's going to take probably a few seconds or minutes. Uh, an email is going to be in your inbox whenever this is ready. Or if you're impatient, you can just click the refresh button multiple times until you have the chart. Yes, I know that was fast, but remember that this is a demo tree. I just have about 20 people there, not a lot of images. As you can see, normally it will take a little bit more of time. You can see already that I have been creating some charge before. Uh, you can see that all have different uh, titles and different ways. And again, each one you could you can see the PDF and the PDF is going to be downloaded to your computer and all this has zero cost. All this is totally free. You can do as many uh, charts as you want. You can download uh, as many charts as you want. And I am opening here now the PDF just for you to have a look of uh, how 
this one looks. This is not the one that I just created. This is one that I had created previously. Um, okay, uh, you can also delete it if for whatever reason you don't like it, or you can um, also, um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, one second, what happened here? Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, or you can order uh, professional printing that MyHeritage also offers you that option. Uh, and we will show you uh, how much it will cost, depending on the paper, depending on the quality. You will see the size, more or less, uh, of the chart. And whenever you change here things, then the image is going to be changed uh, accordingly. Now, what I wanted to show you, uh, I'm going to open it in the new chart. Before we go there, uh, how can I go back and do more charts? Well, on the top, you have create new chart. You have my chart, which is where we are uh, right now. And then we have my posted orders. So I'm going to go back to the chart in this one. I'm going to go and just to show you, this is the book report. Um, and here you're going to see, and remember, this is just a demo, but all the information that you have from uh, the family tree extracted, uh, the images, the names, the events, in a very nice narrated way with all the uh, descendants, ancestors, and all the individuals right there. Okay, um, and then a few uh, charts just for you to understand how all these people are related. Uh, list of uh, topics of places and index of dates as well. And all this was automatically generated from your family tree. So now you should go and make sure uh, how the, that your tree has all the details. So uh, Kyla is asking that she missed how I generated the book. Kyla, especially for you, right here on the list of the different charts, I have the family book. Okay, so all you need to do is to select family book, uh, and here you select the person and what sections and what parts of the book you have, and my heritage will uh, create it for you. Now, the other one that I wanted to show you, which is kind of a little bit different, uh, is the sun chart, and you, the, the way it's created also. It is uh, a little bit different. Let me show you by putting here the Jensen, and I'm actually looking for the oldest Jensen in the uh, tree, which I think it's Martin Jensen. You know what? Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna cheat just because I am live here with you. Uh, by the way, I didn't mention uh, you can actually ask questions, as many people are already doing, in the panel uh, right over there in your screen. So uh, be sure to write the questions, and I'm going to try to answer them as we go. Uh, Mar Marjorie is asking what format the book is. It's in PDF, Marjorie. Everything is created in PDF. You can see here, the extension, it's a PDF, but let me tell you that uh, there are ways to um, convert the PDF into uh, a Word document. So no worries, uh, you can just download and convert it into a, into a, a Word document that you can edit it and, and keep adding over there more information. Okay, so I have selected my person and why did I cheat it? Because I wanted to make sure that I have the oldest person in the family tree. The sun chart will set a couple uh, of ancestors in the middle and then every circle around them, it's another generation. So here in the sample image, you have 
three generations down from this couple, all the uh, images of the people with the information. Of course, this is not going to be fully uh, demonstrated in this one because uh, I don't have too many kids uh, or too many people in the tree, but you can see that um, I have my couple in the middle and I have descendants here and uh, you see the, the names, the birth, the marriage, the death information. And this is actually when you have a big tree, this is the best way to have the most amount of people in a chart. Uh, you can control the zoom up here. You can control the settings of the chart right here. This is a little bit uh, different than all the other charts. Uh, it's exclusive of my heritage. Uh, once you are happy with what you are seeing, you generate the PDF and then it will be listed in the uh, in the page of the charts. Okay, so here I have, now I have my PDF. I can download it from here with no problem. If I want to go back to my website, you see up in the left corner, it says charts. I click over there and we'll get back to the start. Um, Katrin is asking, can the charts handle intermarriages within a family? Uh, okay, so I guess that you have cousins that have marriage one with the other. The answer will be yes. Probably they will appear twice in the tree, but uh, and so are going to probably be their descendants because uh, they are the spouse of, but they are also the son of. So you will have some duplications and and they are proper uh, because uh, they will appear in two times. Um, okay, Karen is asking, will these be available on the My Heritage Education site after the live presentation? And she's talking about the recording of the Ask the Expert. Karen, I am doing my best. Um, I'm only allowed to upload one per week and we are doing two and we have other webinars also going up. So keep an eye uh, on the uh, website and on the emails going out. And hopefully, I will be able to very uh, soon post it over there. Um, okay, uh, so let's see what else you have here. Now, I have done the very basics so far. Uh, you see that in up here, I have the advanced customization options. And you will remember this screen because this is where I got when I click the custom facts. Remember, I show you already this, but I want to go a little bit further down to explain you. We have not only the labels and the information, but you can decide also uh, the photos if you want to show photos to show silhouettes or not and the size. You can also customize the borders that you want from that uh, chart or the way the title will look and you have many to choose. Also the fonts for the title, the name, the labels, the footer, you choose color, you choose everything here. Uh, you can choose a different background and this is the beauty of it. Uh, My Heritage has a few backgrounds, but if you would like to upload your own image, okay? You can either use an image from a URL or you can upload an image and then have your family picture, let's say, uh, over there as a backup, uh, as a background of the chart, uh, frames, again, multiple styles to create beautiful charts the lines, how thick you want them, how the colors, uh, the different colors of the lines. If you want to, uh, to choose over there, you can do whatever you want. Uh, after all, this is your tree, this is your chart. Okay, um, 
let me give you a few of uh, uh, heads ups on what is coming up, uh, at least till the end of April. Uh, we have four more sessions, two more weeks of Ask the Experts at 2 p.m. And further in May, we are changing the time. So remember, it's going to be at 1 p.m., but that is in May, very soon to be announced. In the meantime, I look forward to see you on next Thursdays and uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays with all those subjects here. Uh, let's see what we have from the announcements. Uh, I remember that, yes, until a few more days, free uploads, unlimited uploads to colorize your black and white pictures, or even those that are old and all washed with very bad colors. We also have a contest on our social media, so make sure that you post your colorized pictures uh, in uh, your accounts. Um, you can play also with the colorized settings that we released very uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, the My Heritage Education or Knowledge Base is where we are posting not only all the Ask the Experts, but also webinars, articles, how-to videos. It's your place to go now that you need to stay home to learn more about my heritage. Of course, that I will love if you will uh, follow me on social media. For sure, you're going to be up to date on everything that my heritage is developing. And yes, we are developing new things and news are coming very soon uh okay so without further ado uh i think this is all what i have to show you today uh not before thanking you for being here either live or recorded if you're here live you have a huge advent which is that you are going to hear now the answers to your questions. Um, or you know what? Comments. Maria, thank you very much. Uh, she's very impressed with the charts uh, and she thanks me. Uh, same as Janine. Thank you very much, Janine. Uh, Doris is asking, can you use colorized pictures not need to convert a book to Word? Wait. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The question just moved. Uh, okay. From the beginning, Doris, can you use colorized pictures not related to genealogy tree? Yes, the pictures are uploaded to the website. You can upload any black and white picture that you like. Uh, it doesn't need to be related to your family or to the family tree. Uh, Cindy is asking, what software do you need to convert a book to Word. Uh, Cindy, I think you're thinking on a PDF. Uh, the, the, yeah, the book report in PDF to Word. I will answer you just as my son says, uh, Google it. If you go into Google and you ask convert PDF to Word, I'm pretty sure you're going to find a lot of, uh, not even softwares, uh, websites that will allow you to do that for free. Uh, with certain limitations without any problem. How do you change the image transparency is asking uh, Bettine. Uh, no, Bettine, I'm sorry, you can, uh, wait. You're talking about the background image on the chart, so I hope. Um, on the advanced settings, uh, there is an option to choose the uh, transparency. Let me show it to you right here. Remember this page where you choose the background. Uh, here you have transparency image and you can make it more opaque or transparent as you would like. Uh, okay, um, let's see uh, who else is here. If you have the paid account, would you be able to get the colorize option, Brian, Brian, right now and until the 22, you are more than welcome to use in color for free. 
After that, yes, you will need to have a paying account. Tip for sending services for large printing. Um, each one will uh, depend, Cassandra, on the country where you are. Uh, we have our uh, preferred um, company that we work together and the chart is automatically gone to them. Um, probably any other will have certain requirements of the PDF and how they want you to uh, to be sent. Okay. Uh, Bettini is saying that he, he, you couldn't get the transparency bar to slide. Uh, you, depending on the chart and depending on which background you choose, the bar will or should move or not. Uh, also, if you are using a pre-loaded uh, image or an image from the URL. Uh, is there a way to print a family group sheet is asking Kathy. Uh, Kathy, all the charts and all the PDFs that we are generating are printable without any problem. Uh, I'm not sure to understand what do you mean for a group sheet. Um, I love your short class. There are so I don't for much. My, uh, okay, May from California. It's my pleasure. I really enjoyed as well very much being here. Uh, can people who have an LDS Connect account on my heritage has have unlimited colorization, or is there a limit? Pam is asking. Uh, Pam, if I will need to guess. Mm -hmm. I will say you get uh, in color for free as well uh, for being LDS member. Uh, but do me a favor, don't cut me on that word. And if uh, you want to update me, I would love to know about that after the 2022. How hard is to export a chart to put in family slideshow in or into books? Uh, is asking Cassandra. Cassandra, very easy. Let me show you and probably this will be the last question. Uh, you see now the um, screen with the different charts that I have created. Each chart has a view PDF right there. Just by clicking view PDF, you're actually downloading. Uh, the chart. If you click the chart, it also works. You can see here in the lower corner how the PDF is downloading to my computer and then I can do whatever I want. Also putting it into a presentation, putting it into a, a book uh, in Word or any other uh, way or form. I will, yes, suggest you same as I show you with the book that we are creating. Um, give me just one second. Uh, remember, if, if you are doing a book, a genealogy book, um, try to add small amounts of, of family trees. Like, don't try to print a huge tree because you will need to fold it and, and nobody's really going to enjoy it more than a couple of times. But if you add small charts like this to whatever book or if you're doing a presentation also uh, you will need like a small size chart so people can understand and can be readable also by others um, okay so one more time i am going to thank you all for your attention thank you for being here with me every tuesday and thursday at 9 p.m. Looking forward to see you in the next one or in just a few more minutes in our Facebook Live where I'm going to be talking about the education website. In the meantime, please stay safe and do genealogy. Bye-bye.